Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Aurea and this is DIY with Aurea. And today we are back with another collaboration, just our imagination. We are going to be crafting today with mop heads, toilet paper, and pill bottles. I'm not sure who thought this one up, but you can ask the masterpiece yourself. I'll leave the links to these creators, to these genius creators down in my description box, along with a playlist. So like that, you can know what all the other creators are going to be creating with these items. So yes, just make sure that when you go down there, you ask Kathy Joe with Kathy Joe's DIY, what she was thinking when she came up with these items. Also, you can ask Brenda from Rust and Lacey DIY and or you can ask the guest host because I'm sure she has something to do with it. And her name is Joanne from Joanne's DIY Life. And for my first project, I'm just going to go ahead and use the toilet paper. I had this huge vase laying around for many years. I'm going to go ahead and start taking all of these rhinestones out of here. This is going to have a lot of texture once I am done with this piece. So I just took a towel and kind of like wiped it down and then with a lot of Mod Podge, I'm going to go ahead and start placing it in sections. And then of course, I'm going to start placing the toilet paper wherever it's needed. But I'm going to make sure that I cover almost the entire vase because we want to make sure that when we go to the next step, it's going to be nice and covered. And I'm just going to go ahead and let you see the process because it is self-explanatory. So what I'm doing here, I'm adding more Mod Podge, but I'm also wetting the brush into some water. And it just turned out perfect because when I hit it with some heat, the toilet paper bond really good to the uh, vase. And it gave it a beautiful texture. But keep watching, you'll see. It. I mean, it turns out absolutely gorgeous. And of course, you know I like white, so I am going to be spray painting it with white once this is completely dried. So now it is dry. Look at how, uh, how much texture it has. And let me tell you, I was really worried about this toilet paper situation here, but I think I pulled it off. I need for you to tell me, let me know how this turned out. Here is the final review. I am hoping that you like it. let's go ahead and use that mop head. I had this in my stash. So the first thing that I am doing, of course, this is from Dollar Tree. I am going to be trying to take this plastic thing out of here only because I don't want to make a mess. I've, I've worked with these mop heads before and once you pull the string, they're all connected. So it turns into like a big, huge piece of yarn. So I didn't want to do that. So I just removed this black piece of plastic from here. And then I had the whole mop head all, you know, in intact. So now that I removed it, then I'm just going to go ahead and put it to the side and I am going to be working with these ornaments. I'm going to be um, using five of them and of course I am going to be painting them with white paint. But before I do that, I'm going to be removing this section right here and I'm also going to be using my hot tool and I'm going to be creating a second hole. Just keep watching, this will all make sense.
For my next step, I'm just going to be sanding all of this out. I want to make sure that this is nice and even and that none of that plastic is sticking out. And now let's go ahead and paint all of these. I'm going to be using a Shiskaba stick. I'm going to do the first three, put them to the side and then come back with the next two. And now coming back with the mop head. I have this Baker's twine and I'm going to be taking several of these. I'm going to try to create a tassel with this. And with the Baker's twine, I'm going to be tying it in two different spots. Just keep watching so you can see what I'm talking about. Once I am done tying it the second time, now I'm creating the head for the tassel. Once I'm done with that, then I'm going to come in with my scissors and I'm going to go ahead and cut it off. So like that, um, it could look like the tassel that I am creating. After that, then I'm going to make sure that any extra uh, strings that are, you know, longer than the other, I'm just coming in with my scissors again and I'm trimming it again. I'm just going to give it a nice haircut and make it all look even. And then once that is done, I'm going to go ahead and put it to the side and come back with my ornaments. I have this floral wire that's what I'm going to be using because I thought that this is the easiest way that I can go ahead and tie everything together due to um, the distance one hole to the other from these ornaments so I thought this was the easiest way and it worked out just fine so I'm twisting it I doubled it up twisting it so like that I can tie everything together I am also going to be working with some wood beads. I thought that I had the perfect color, but then you'll see that later on I had to come in and change the color around because it did, it just did not match. And this is the way that I like painting my wood beads. It's a lot easier. I do everything in here. I just pour the paint. I use a dabbing brush or a foam brush. And then right there, without taking them out of there, I use my heat tool and I dry them right there. And no mess done. So I also have some white beads that I also painted later on in the video. But now, once I had this completely uh, done, then I realized once I mashed the mop head to the garland, I realized that it's just not happening. So I went on and I had to mix two colors together. That is the black and the white, giving me that gray color because I did not have the gray color. So that wound up working out for me. But of course, before I do that, I went to a garage sale this summer and I purchased a whole bunch of wood beads and all kinds of stuff. And these little, I call them rings, they were also in that huge package. So I'm putting three over here only because I want this to look different. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that excess Baker's twine off. And then I'm going to be adding two more of the same rings. And I think this is going to turn out absolutely gorgeous. What do you think? Does it look better with the rings or if I would just use the Baker's twine? You can tell this is not matching so I'm gonna come in like I said earlier I'm gonna put a little bit of black and a little bit of white and then once I have that perfect gray color then I'm just gonna go ahead and start painting the uh, wood beads all over again so I'm gonna have to disassemble that garland but no big deal it turned out absolutely gorgeous. And of course I did the same process as before. Now that they all dry, I also took some white smaller beads and I am going to be alternating them. And now I'm gonna be creating that garland. So 
So I'm gonna go ahead and assemble everything together. Now I took the tassel, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that this is nice and secure by tying more knots to it. Then I am going to be cutting that axis off and with the same wire, I'm gonna be connecting it to the garland. And with the same gray paint, I'm gonna be giving it one coat to this snowflake. And then once the snowflake is, well, actually I'm gonna go ahead and put it to the side and then I'm gonna be working on the second snowflake, which is a lot larger. Uh, this one, I'm gonna be painting it in white and I'm gonna be painting both sides, front and back. Once everything is dry, then I come in with some hot glue and I'm going to be placing the smaller one right here. Look at how gorgeous that looks. And then of course, I'm gonna be tying the snowflake to the garland the same way that I did with the tassel. And then this will be it, my dear friends. I hope you have enjoyed this one. I know that it's a little different creating a tassel out of mop hair, but I think for the most part, it turned out beautiful. But your opinion counts a lot, so let me know in the comment section your thoughts. And if you have enjoyed it, don't forget that big thumbs up. For our next project, we're going to be using that pill bottle. I purchased this at Michael's. I did not pay $4.99, I paid pennies because this came in a huge uh, grab bag. I'm taking or removing this jute cord coming in with white chalk paint and I'm gonna be giving it one entire coat of white chalk paint. Once I gave it that thick coat, I put it to the side so it could dry and now I'm going to go ahead and try to peel this label out of here with some heat. With the same white chalk paint, I'm gonna also paint the entire bottle and I'm only gonna be uh, giving it one coat because a chalk paint works really good. So I didn't see the need of two coats. Once that was done, then I am going to be putting it to the side. Coming in with this napkin, I took the double ply out and then I'm gonna try to take all the wrinkles out with the little mini iron before I start mod podging it in place. And my dear friends, please make sure to visit the playlist. I'm gonna be leaving the links directly to these talented creators down in my description box make sure to visit them give them a lots of love by subscribing sharing and liking and don't forget to let them know that i send you and if you are coming from one of their platforms welcome to my channel i hope you consider staying by subscribing sharing and liking to this channel and as you see, I am adding the Mod Podge, spreading it. I'm gonna wait until it dries and then I come back in with the beautiful white and red napkin and I am ironing it on. And what happens is that that Mod Podge reactivates and then it allows the napkin to adhere to the board. If you have like this little corner right here that did not adhere, then you could just come in with some more Mod Podge and just add it to it. And of course, then you come in and you sand the rest of this tissue off or napkin, and it's really easy. And then it gives it just that perfect cut. Once that is completely done, then we could go ahead and proceed to the next step. This step I didn't show you because I lost the footage. So what I did is I just added some of this braided jute cord on the bottle of or the pill bottle and then I'm going to be doing the same thing to here. I'm going to add some in the middle and then I am also going to be covering all four corners of this board.
And now let's go ahead and put all of this beautiful project together. With some hot glue, I'm just gonna go ahead and hot glue this right in the middle of the board. And then of course, I'm gonna add some floral. I also have this little, uh, another snowflake. This one I'm not gonna paint. I'm gonna leave it just as is because I think it looks good in this wood color. And with hot glue, I'm just gonna put it right here. And then this peace sign, this was from a different project. I don't know, this was in the bottom of my stash. So I'm going to give it one entire coat with white chalk paint. Once I dry this, then I'm coming in with the color red. I started to use that sponge brush, but I immediately learned that it was not going to be working out. So I switched over for a paintbrush. That one worked out just perfect. After that, because it smeared, so I came back with another um, smaller or thin white brush and I'm painting off whatever red it was uh, transferred to the white section and then of course I'm gonna have a lot of hot glue I am going to be gluing it to this beautiful picture frame and that uh, this will be it my dear friends thank you so much for stopping by sticking around until the end of this video I truly do appreciate every single one of you I hope you do consider subscribing if you have not done so and uh, here is a final review my dear friends I hope you enjoy it